So what is barite? Well, here's an example of a crystal clear crystal. Terminated on the ends. Here's a portion of a crystal. Very clear, it's beautiful. It's attached to the rock right there. So the barite's growing alongside of the calcite crystals. Calcite's very, very plentiful, or the barite's quite rare. Here's a clear calcite crystal. Typically, the calcite we find looks more like this. It's white, translucent. Here's a much larger barite crystal. This one again, water clear, transparent. It's another example of a large barite crystal. And they get bigger. This is a barite crystal stalactite. I call them dragon teeth. They're very, very rare. This is a twin pair of barite stalactites. This is clear barite, giving way to a brown.
some of the larger crystals I found. This is 350 grams. This is 395 grams. This is the largest crystal to date, 495 grams. We're at site two again. A little bit down slope from where it was sticking before. So I'm following a vein of calcite that I found on the surface, I'm gradually digging it up. So by tapping on the shale that surrounds the crystals, I can gradually knock it loose. The trick is to get the shale loose without breaking the crystal. Pry bar is helpful for breaking up the rock, but it's pretty hard on the crystals when we run into those. see small pieces of calcite everywhere here. Been broken by me or just broken by nature gradually split them up. And running around these crevices, you'll find scorpions. They're completely transparent, about an inch long. Every once in a while, I'll see a rock moving. I look over, and it's a transparent scorpion moving across it.
here I'm testing one and sure enough it's crystal in there promising. Generally, the large crystals that have been close to the surface have gone through so many heating and cooling cycles. They've been broken up into what I'll call sugar cubes. Ice cube to sugar cube sized crystals. Big rock. I break the shale open because occasionally it is crystal.
Just on the back side of the hole we dug previously. This entire hilltop has crystal veins in it, but lots of shale rock in between. Too. The calcite crystals grow in between all the, the splits in the shale rock, sort of like glue. And the barite shows up into gaps. This all is from volcanic venting. Many, many years. <laughs> 